You know what I'm saying for us to rush for 230 um, against a great defense, against a defense that was well coached, that um did a lot of stunts that we practiced on this week. I felt like they came out and they really executed. And what did you think about Cade? Oh, Cade is a big addition uh, to the group, to the family. You know what I'm saying? We're great to see him uh, back in orange where he's supposed to be. Eric, can you talk about, you know where you guys want to go in, in terms of the East, and you know you've got to take care of the South Carolinas and Missouris. I mean, Tennessee has struggled against Missouri. Uh, so how big was it not only to win, but just kind of make a statement? It's kind of um, just like what we talked about with um, with this with the 19 class, you know what I'm saying, getting Tennessee back to the top. And to get Tennessee back to the top, that's what you do. You have to dominate those, not going to say smaller games, but those games you know you, you focus, the games you don't really focus on, you know what I'm saying? You got to dominate those games to make a statement, like you said. Um, Eric, you're the first Tennessee player to rush for a touchdown in four straight games since Joshua Dobbs. Just what does that mean to you? I actually did not know that, but that means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can keep the streak alive. We got to keep going, keep grinding, keep getting better every day. But that means a lot to me. We'll go Patrick Brown, Matthew Ray, Ryan Shumpert. Hey, Eric, uh, just kind of following up on, on Kate. What was it like Wednesday night for you guys as a team to find out that he was going to play? And, and what was he like in pregame warmups before getting a chance to go out there for the first time and play for you guys? It was amazing. I remember I was um I was in the cold tub and Jeremy Banks was like, K Mays has got cleared and I was so happy, so happy for him because he's worked so hard, like we all have. He's worked so hard to be here, um, back in his home city. Um and he was he was ready to go. You know what I'm saying? He didn't miss a beat. He got out there and like he was been starting from day one. Eric, you carried it sixteen times for hundred and five yards. Ty carried it nineteen times for ninety. You both had a score on the ground. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, what it's like being able to split those carries with a guy like that and how much it allows you to go deeper into a game. It, is, it definitely helps a lot. You know, that one-two punch, the one-two punch is deadly. You see it you see it all around the league. You've seen it in all the great backs. They have that one-two punch. All the great teams that go deep, they go to the playoffs, go to the national championship, they have that one-two punch in the backfield. So to be able to split those carries allows both of us to stay fresh and kind of the defense has to prepare for both of us. They can't just lock in on one guy. Hey, Eric, talk a little bit about that jumbo seven offensive linemen set and how fun it is to run behind those guys. It's, it's, like, it's like you're running behind a Mack truck. You know what I'm saying? You get the ball and everything's just wide open and you're, hey, it's touchdown. You know what I'm saying? So it feels great to be able to get those easy yards like that. Uh, we'll go Vince Ferrara and Blake Topmeyer. Eric, back to splitting the carries with, uh, with Ty. We had heard from Jim Chaney that there was a chance that we, that a lot of times we'd see both you and Ty in at the same time. You guys really haven't done that a whole lot. What can you guys do both get on the field at the same time? I think I think that's a great way to um to mess with the defense because you know when you're both on the field they have to prepare for two different guys. Me and Ty are not the same as a runner, so when you have both of us on the field, you have to decide. Okay, now who's going to get the ball? How do we play this guy? I think it's going to be very effective in our offense going forward. We have Nick Nicholas Hill. Um, he also had a touchdown on a screen pass there late in the first half. Just talk about that play. Uh, and, and its importance in the game, and just how much more involved you and Ty Taylor have become in the passing game. Um, that that play we've practiced on it a lot since day one. Um, when we went out there, we kind of froze it to see what the defense was going to do. But when I saw the two over two look, I knew we were going to go to it. I knew if we got thirty two blocked on the edge, that it was going to be a touchdown. That's ultimately what we did. And we'll go to Blake Topmeyer for the last question. Yeah, Eric, I, I don't know if you you noticed during the plays, but it looked like on both your touchdowns, uh, Wanya and Morris had pretty big blocks to kind of help clear lanes there. Just, did, did you notice that, and, and what did you think of what he was able to do on those two plays? Definitely on the first block, on the first touchdown, his kick out of, uh, I think it was number three, his kick out on three for me able to be able to squeeze by him and get to the touchdown, I definitely saw that one. And we have practiced all week on him coming out on that screenplay and blocking that corner. He made two big blocks, and I'm ultimately thankful for it. All right. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, everyone.